I have a short review on Selena and Yolanda Part 2, Room 158 is the title of the 60-minute Part 2. And in what was a two-hour interesting Part 1 in regards to opening up the intrigue of shoddy police work, dark figures from Selena's family, which I don't deny, Part 2 is a uh is completely completely just self self implodes it uh it 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 positions the Saldivar family with all due respect as their victims and they're crying over the death of their friend Selena and their aunt I you know it's just you know you guys got to move on and you guys got to not do this documentary that was the fundamental problem i had with this is that this family is putting themselves out there for the first time publicly for what and from what i saw in this part one and two por nada por nada okay there was uh sure there was there was claims that saldivar was beat up that's debatable we in and in, in it's a and it's a theory that that it was a, a, a hit order from uh from abraham quintanilla and later on we find out it's the doctor who he had a, who uh, selena had an affair with now there was a letter that came out in 2012 from the gentleman that the doctor hired in spanish and he wrote to yolanda saldivar again it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter it it, it does it did it lead her did it lead her to a, her uh, paranoid state to her narcissistic, uh, you know, manipulative, uh, you know, uh, hyper reality. Sure, sure, of course, right? You already have a powder keg there. Boom, that'll do it. I don't deny that. I don't deny that. But at the end of the day, she just she could have, anyone could have, walked away, walk away. You clean, you 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 clean. No matter how much, Selena doth protest too much because selena did protest like stay with me stay with me let's keep working on this let's keep making it happen not nah, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you wash your hands and you leave that's it that's it so there's that and then the fact that you know you killed your best friend you killed your best friend in the back you shot her in the back and it wasn't until the very end of part two that Yolanda said the words, I killed her. And you did. And that's it. Punto final. Case closed. Are you eligible for parole next year? Yes, you are. And they leaned heavily into part two, heavily into that. Because uh, they were so concerned about the court of public opinion. Well, let me just tell you right now. The court of public opinion is never going to change on this. I'm sorry. Right? I, I feel for the relatives, not for Yolanda. Um, uh, if she can find, uh, she believes that she's going to heaven and she's going to see Selena in the future in, in heaven. God bless her. That's between her and God and no one else. <clears throat> Who am I, right? Who am I? However, what I saw from this, this documentary had, there is no, no, no reason for this thing to have been produced other than clicks. Hey, you got me. You got a lot of us. You did your job, Oxygen Channel. Other than that, it's a pretty disgusting uh, documentary. Uh, and li listen, no one's an angel from from the Quintanilla family to you know all all these people involved. But at the end of the day, someone someone is not with us that would have been only in her, her early fifties that uh, would have shot the stratosphere. And this person is still behind bars and they leaned heavily into that so yeah that's my that's my take i i wouldn't watch this i can't recommend it i can't remake it is it intriguing the first part sure but is it necessary no absolutely not absolutely not